What's up, y'all? It's a Tinker Goddess look. I'm not going to be talking probably like I used to be talking because I was in an accident. And I know a lot of y'all been wondering where she at, you know, where her readings at and all that stuff. But I got something good for y'all tonight. I don't know who this message is for, but like I said, I was in an accident. Um, my jaw bone is broken. So I'm going to try to get this message out as, as the best way that I can. Because, you know, when spirit is talking to me, I got to come give it to y'all. Y'all already know the routine. So the first card that I pulled is message. For some reason, you have a message awaiting you. And I don't know who this message is from. Um... But you have a message. Could be from spirit. Could be from a deceased loved one. Somebody that has passed on to another realm. It just could be somebody you was in a relationship with. Somebody has a beautiful. Because it's beauty within this message. I also see you're looking for guidance right now. Like you're lost. Like, you know, with the moon card right here. You know, the moon is all about uh, guidance, looking for guidance and things of that nature. So, always understand when you're obedient to the universe and you're obedient to the divine, the source, whoever you believe in, God, you're going to come out on top. So, continue to be obedient because whoever's watching over you, if this is a, I really sense that this is a deceased loved one that's trying to reach out to you. Somebody that has recently died is trying to get your attention. And I don't know how they crossed over or they made it to the other side, but they're trying to get your attention. But for some reason, I see obedience. And this card means a lot. Like, I don't want to go into detail because this reading going to be short because I got to heal my myself. But um, somebody is still having issues with letting go. You know, like I said, certain people come into our lives for reasons. And if they aren't for our highest good, we have to let them go. If they're not elevating us, if they're not uh, pushing us to be the best that we can be, you got to know when to cut the cord. If they're toxic, that toxic toxic shit ain't going to work. And I don't care how it's coming out because it's probably coming out like it's coming out because my mouth is fucking hurt. But I keep telling y'all, toxic shit, if you holding on, you can just keep holding on to it. Like, I can keep talking to y'all until I'm blue in the face. But until you realize it toxic, toxicity is not going to work out. I don't care what, I don't care if it's with family, with relationships, let that shit go. Spirit is telling you, if you don't be obedient, you can miss out on your blessings by holding on to people that you've been supposed to let go of 10 decades ago. Like for real. And I don't sugarcoat shit. Y'all know that. Complicated. You're in a complicated situation. And that's basically because you're dealing with a, with something you don't need to be dealing with. And like I said, y'all do what y'all want to do. I'm just here giving y'all the message how it gives to me. Because I can't go to sleep until I give y'all the message. Uh, But anyways, I do see... This last card being, you're in denial. You're going through something. We're complicated being right here. So the situation that you're in, you're really thinking you're in denial about it. Because you feel like you're in love, but it, that's not love. If a person, check this out. If a person abuse you. And a bruise can come in so many different kind of ways. Verbally, physically, financially, all that. If you're taking that and you know you're in a complicated situation and you 
are refusing to let go, I mean, you're not being obedient. So you're holding the blessings that's intended for you is going to be delayed until you until you learn obedience. Until you learn to be obedient to yourself. Because it's, 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 it's like you can be obedient to the universe all day long. But the universe wants you to learn from the met, from the people that that's put into your life. These people that's abusing you and not treating you right. And then you, you be in denial. And you just, you're, it's like you're uh, accepting it. And you're coming up with all different kind of excuses as to why this person doing you that type of way. I don't get involved in it and I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you to leave a person. I can't tell you to be with a person. Y'all know how how I do things. But I give you this message and these cards came through the way that they came through. And if you are in some complicated, it's not going to work out. Spirit is telling me that off the top of my dome. It's not going to work out. No matter how much you put your effort in it. No matter how much you try, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just not, just not going to work out. Like, people coming to your life, it's a lesson you're supposed to have learned from that. You're supposed to learn that lesson, and you're supposed to move on to the next phase. So, until you learn that, and see, you're searching right now. The moon card is right here. So, you're definitely looking for answers. You're looking for answers, and spirit has the answers, all the answers you need. But those answers won't be released to you until you let go. You have an issue with letting go. And I know a lot of people don't like to hear the truth. I used to be one of the ones guilty. I could raise my hand, I'm guilty. You know, I ain't used to want to hear the truth. Uh, criticism, like, uh, I'm talking about the criticism, not like hardcore criticism. Criticism that can help you, that can push you to be the best that you can be. People don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? And I like, I know a lot of people have been wondering, where is she at? Where is she at? You know, uh, but I'm on here tonight giving y'all this, this message that came through to me. It's something you have to let go. You got, it's a beautiful, it's something beautiful. Somebody's trying to reach out to you. And I think it's, it's somebody that has died. Somebody that just looking over you. It could be your guardian angel or somebody like that. But they have a message for you because they know that you're searching for answers. But the universe is saying until you follow let go. Release yourself from out of this complicated situation that you're in. That's not benefiting you. And it's not serving your highest good. You know what I tell y'all? If something is not serving your highest good. What are you in it for? If it's bringing you down. If it's, you know, de-escalating you. If it's causing like uh, mental confusion. That's not for you. Like, let me tell you something about love. Real love is going to elevate you. A lot of a lot of you all think y'all in twin flame situations. You're not in twin flame situations if that person is hurting you. Twin flame situations don't hurt. It don't hurt. Normally, you have a runner. And that person's going to run until they can't run anymore. But they won't hurt you like that. They, they're just running because they're not ready to deal with reality. Like, a lot of people is caught up with twin flame. And, you know, soulmates. A soulmate could be a family member. A soulmate could be a lover. Somebody you're intimate with. A brother or sister. A soulmate could be anybody. A friend. Somebody you met in the past, like, but they're going to elevate you. You're going to elevate them. 
and see whatever you're in is complicated. Soulmate relationships are not complicated. Ain't nothing complicated about it. And uh, I'm going to cut this short because, like I said, I got to give my mouth some rest. And um, I just, I feel kind of bad. Because when I do readings like this, and I look like the moon card right here, somebody needs guidance. And that's probably why I can't sleep. Because spirit is going to keep me awake to try to get this message to you all. Because you all probably like, where's she at? Where's she been? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's what happened to me. And I'm up here talking to y'all. With some fucking missing teeth and some fucking and a fucking broken jawbone, but I'm giving y'all this message because I care. You know, I all this shit right here. I've been through this shit. Fake twin flames, all that shit. I'm telling you, you would know when you when you meet the person that's meant for you. Don't settle. You don't ever have to settle. It's beauty within you. It's beauty within you. You got to look deep within yourself. I keep telling you, I work with certain uh, archangels, like Archangel Haniel. You want to bring that beauty from out of you? It's beauty rituals you can do. Like I'm telling you, y'all got to, you got to figure a lot of this shit out on your own. I can tell you all this all day long, but until you do your own research, it's only so much that I can do. And if you're not, uh, you know, trying to get rituals, like I do rituals for people. I transform people's lives 24-7. But if you're not hitting me up, you know, for that, I can't. It's only so much I can do. I can give you these readings and tell you what's going on. And if it resonates, take what applies. And if it doesn't resonate, if the message is not for you, that means you've done your shadow work. And that means you, you know what I'm saying? You ready to move on to the next phase. But whoever's going through this right here, you know, my heart goes out to you. Uh, because you can change. You don't have to stay in a situation uh, because you feel like you're trauma bonded. Or you feel like you got something. Because this person, whoever you, you dealing with, they don't give a damn about you. Like, they're not for your highest good. And I'm letting you know that right now. So, that's why Sphere is saying letting go. You got issues. You hold on to, to things that don't need to be held on to. And you have to, the beauty, the beauty in letting go of shit. When you start letting go of shit. And you'll see. I'm telling you. Don't find, don't find out the hard way. Do not stick around and try to find out the hard way. 